going on everybody? Welcome back to the Portuguese Flying Stew. We'll be doing a tutorial today for Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 and we'll be looking at the exe.xml file. Uh, this file was added by Microsoft to auto load programs that you want to use with the simulator. So I've been noticing a lot of people have been having this issue online and getting the uh, file to work correctly. So today we'll be uh, looking into it a little deeper. So uh, go over to your uh, where you have the game installed. Go all the way through the uh, folders. You want to locate your local cache file or folder. You're going to look for your exe.xml file. Now, I know that this, this file might be missing or it might not be in there. So what we'll do is at the end, we'll, we'll recreate it. Uh, but if you do have it, it should be in your local cache. If you can't find it, just go over to your search, type in exe XML. And what I would do is uh, select this PC. So that way it searches the entire computer for it in case it's in a, a different folder. So once you locate the file, you can double click it. And then you'll notice that it's uh, highlighted in blue on top or it's the letters are blue. And then a little bit of red and then the uh, files are going to be in like bold black so you'll know that the file is actually working correctly when you see this uh, the way it is. If this screen comes up blank that means that something didn't uh, transmit over when you created the file. So we'll uh, we'll take a look at it and uh, right click on the file open it with your notepad the screen will open up. Now you'll notice everything is not bold or different colors, so that's okay. And once you do that, you're gonna select the program that you want from your from your folders. I have it set up uh, like a folder specifically for flight sim. So double click, go in. We're gonna just do flight events, and this is just a program that allows me to uh, to do some things in the simulator. Uh, connecting my iPad, like for flight and stuff like that. So you want to click on it once, copy the path. You're going to come over to the uh, launch add-on section. And just for the demonstration purposes, we're going to change the path on this one. You're going to paste, get rid of the quotes on top on each side. And then what I do is I just copy the name from the file. That way we can name it. And then you repeat this step for each program that you want or mod that you want to run with the simulator. And you could just copy, paste it, and then do it until you're satisfied with all the, uh, the programs that you want to auto load. Once you're done, you're gonna hit file and save. I'm not gonna save this one because it's gonna ruin what I have. So we'll just back out. Let me not save it. And then once you do that, just go back your folders to the folder that has the local cache and then double click it make sure that this is all written in correctly now in the event that you do not have this file or you cannot find the file you're going to navigate over to the link that i created and uh, i'll share the file template on google docs so you'll be able to just copy and paste it once you copy it, you're gonna go over into the local cache file or folder, right click it, and then you're gonna set up a new file. You could do this one, and then you're gonna rename it. Now, I've done it where I've labeled it an XML and then .pln. It doesn't matter, I don't think it's gonna matter, but just in case, because I've seen some people that said, um, it's better to uh, label a PLNL, PLN at first. Double click it, open it up. Get rid of this. Paste. Well, actually, it didn't copy it over, I guess. Go back to our Google Docs. Copy it. Go back to our notepad. Paste it. And then once you're ready to save it, save as. And then you're going to go ahead and rename it. 
without the PLN PLN end. And make sure that you're in the the right folder, the local cache folder. I'm not gonna do it because it's gonna override what I have there or it's gonna create another file and I don't wanna do that, but just you have the idea here, you just click on it and hit save. And then once more, just go back in and just double check it. Double click and make sure that everything is loaded. And let me just get rid of this file real quick. And once that happens, you should be able to close out escape out and then run the simulator and while that's loading up I'll take the time now to thanks for tuning in considered smashing that like button and subscribing to the channel i'll be doing more videos like this uh, for little uh, tips and tricks for microsoft flight sim 2020 and if you have a question about anything with this video or with any other videos please just drop a comment i'll do my best to respond as quick as i can and my uh, social links are also located in the description. So be sure to give me a like and a follow on Facebook Gaming as well. My page is there. I do live streams with uh, Flight Sim. And please don't hesitate to ask any questions. I will do my best to answer if you're having an issue or if this didn't work out for you. And once it gets past this loading screen, you're going to see it's going to check for updates in the sim. And then once it passes through the update phase, then it should start to auto load all your uh, programs that you have. So we're just going to give that another minute. I promise I'll do a short video this time. I know my last video was 10 minutes long, so I know somebody was upset with me and they wanted a shorter video so hopefully this is short enough with all the information you need once it gets to this screen and it starts loading you're going to see everything is going to just auto generate or auto start and that's when you know it's successful so pretty cool feature and i uh, hope you guys use it uh, it's a good tool instead of going in, loading the flight sim, and then double clicking on all of the uh, all the files you want to load up with the sim. So, and that's it. So, hope you guys found the video informative. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I'll do my best to answer. And uh, until next time, thanks for tuning in. Take care.